Hello, AD60M Dennis here, and I wanted to uh, show you real quick a video on this Arduino based spot welder that I use for putting together batteries. And um, as you can see here, this is a, a kit, and I will leave a link to where to find this kit, but it hooks into a car battery and they recommend, uh, the creator recommends that you get at least a 400 cca battery lead, sealed lead acid. The reason being that you need this kind of uh, amount of cold cranking amps to power the thing to get welding done. So there is a way to do it with a lithium ion battery. They have a kit for that. But I figured a uh, car battery is easy enough to get. What I did here was I um, put it all together. There's a knob that goes here, but I don't like the knob because taking this off is hard when you have that. So I left the knob off. And then there's this little power wire that goes to the fuse. This is a fuse right here. It's, I think, I uh, forget how much. I think it's a 300 amp fuse. And uh, so the, the wiring color is a little confusing. This is actually positive, as you can see here, positive. This is negative. And what I would have to do before when I put this together is I would have to disconnect this whenever I wanted to turn the thing off. So I just uh, did a little quick switch here, which I'll power on now. Just push button switch. And so it loads up. I have it set to a 17 millisecond um, pulse. And so it's ready to go. And these are the two leads. I think this is six gauge wire that they use. And then, so I'm gonna, oh, and then there's a little port here. So you can have it either spot weld when there's contact of the leads, or you can use a switch. And that's what this little port is. So let me get that switch going. All right, so I have the switch here. This is the this, is this part, and it just kind of slots in here. And that's the leads. I'm gonna go down here. There's the foot switch. And excuse the mess in my garage. I'm in the process of moving in unpacking in my garage is a disaster but anyway so this is all set up i'm going to get an example battery that i'm putting together and i will show you how it works all right so i got this pack here that i uh put together in a bracket I made a couple of these already and then i have these uh, nickel strips that you can easily find on amazon or ebay uh, I forget the dimensions, but I'll put a link. Um, and so what I like to do is I like to get this and kind of determine uh, the bridge points. So I'm going to connect these two points, these two points, and then one in the middle here. And then I cut these accordingly. So I'm going to say right about that much. match it up it's probably an imprecise way but this is how I do it and then so I'm gonna kind of align this in a way that I can get good surface contact on both of the both of the batteries here Get a little piece of tape and hold it down I have one here and um, I tried to do this freehand once and it's very uh, hard to get it going so uh, it's good to just kind of secure it with tape and then 
move it afterwards. So, that looks just about good. Let's press it down. And then, we'll take these things. And then, uh, let me see if I could do it here with you able to see. Foot switch is down here. I just kind of press these here. And then, boom. Whoa, that was a big spark. And another one. There we go, and that's the first one. I don't know if you could see that too well. But I found that that 17 millisecond setting is pretty good. I just kind of push it down, flatten the, the edges. So I'm going to do that uh, three more times, and then we will have a 12.8 nominal lithium iron phosphate battery with this. Here it is from a different angle so you can see what's going on. Um, be sure to always wear safety glasses when you're doing something like this because you saw the sparks. You can't see me right now, but I am. And there we go. Finally, for the last side, this is the underside of the battery. Let's get this part going here. So there you have it. This is the um, this comes from the UK from a company called Malectrix, and it's a pretty cool kit. If you're into making your own batteries for ham radio or other purposes, soldering is really not fun, especially on the on the batteries themselves it gets really hot and that's not good for the battery and I, I did it for a long time but I realized there was a, a much faster way if I was doing this right now with uh, regular solder, soldering iron and you know having to secure them with lead take me at least twice as long much longer I just feel better doing it this way it's very very quick and uh, secure and uh, easy to redo if you mess up so you know you just work with the, the length of time start off at like five milliseconds work your way up and use you know stick two test strips together and use a pair of pliers to pull them apart and uh, see how good the contact is uh, I reached 17 milliseconds and that's Kind of the sweet spot for this battery so there you have it i don't really have much else about this uh highly recommended product but again use care and uh, definitely understand everything that you're you're working on understand how it all functions because this is not stuff that you just play around with Thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you again soon. 7-3.